contacted a bunch by people at the highest levels. And obviously, if I don't go meet with them, they will take it as a disrespect and I might, something might happen to me. I mean, it's, it's, that's how bad this stuff is at the level I'm at, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to meet with you because I know you're a serious man. Not of respect, I'm here. But this drug business, I believe it's going to be the end of us. Now, we control the, the church and the, the courts because uh, gambling and women, it's, it's a vice people want, to paraphrase Don Corleone. But this drug business, but, but I mean, separately, I'm never going to join with the New World Order. I will certainly meet with them, though. It's always interesting. <laughs> I met with a real member of the Illuminati about three years ago. And it's just unbelievable. And the only reason I'm given this information is I won't tell anybody. That's the only reason. But, but that's what they always tell you. They go, look, these people aren't human. They don't want to be free. They're not eliminated. You're eliminated because you know all this. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. Join us. The power, the life extension, the control, everything. It will be yours. And I know their spirit. I feel it. I could join with them, but I'm all, let me just tell you now, I'm not joining you. Understand that. We'll be right back. Stay with us. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other members of the fluorine family that are added to Western water supplies are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the people that drink it. So the question is, why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We developed Fluoride Shield to be the highest quality, highest standards because I use it every day and my family uses it every single day. Let's take a closer look at the ingredients that make up this special proprietary formula. Tamarind has been celebrated for its ability to immobilize toxic fluoride residues, while zeolites have a long history of attracting and holding toxic compounds. Enter fulvic acid, an excellent cleansing agent. Then we added the highest quality shilaji, a rare compound that is collected from the high mountains of the Himalayas. We topped it all off with the powerhouse herb cilantro, that is intended to mobilize fluoride and other dangerous compounds for removal from the body. And the final touch to energize this formula is our proprietary nascent iodine. And as always, consult your physician as well because that is important. And finally, Fluoride Shield, Survival Shield, and all the products at InfoWarsLife.com grew out of my quest to try to find the very best compounds from God's cornucopia to protect myself and my family. And from our research, I believe we are bringing you the best, highest quality products. And you have that commitment from Alex Jones and the entire InfoWars crew. So now that we've dehumanized for 41 years, 55 million babies and helped fund basically forced abortions worldwide with IMF and World Bank money, well, now that we see the economics of one of predatory actions and dumbing people down and reducing society and not creating economies that actually have sustainable real jobs, but destroying sustainable economies by calling it sustainable, our journey towards total implosion uh, is going uh, right along. And then meanwhile, humans aren't even needed now unless we decide we're needed and decide we want to build a world for humans. Kind of like you uh, build a dog park for dogs or you build a human park. Uh, you build a habitat for lions. You build a habitat for hippopotamus. We're having a habitat built for a technocracy that we're not in. And this is in the globalist own words. France and China, of all places, are leading the revolution to robotics to replace 99% of their workers. And they're only a few years away from their prototype factories working without humans, almost completely without humans. Again, by design, not some natural progression, all the tech with back doors built into it so that they can dehumanize, track, control, and war game their incremental takeover to predict the future and predict everything we're going to do and to gauge how we're going to respond and have super quantum computers 
going after us. We have to make the decision we don't want to go down that route. We want quantum computers to build truly sustainable space-based ring cities in space and then blast off 300-year missions with three, four generations that are going to live in a high science-based system, mining the asteroid belt and then blasting off uh, to the nearest star systems. Man, boom. I would raise my kids for that mission, have them ready if they wanted to do it, to be part of that. We should have ring cities built right now. Should have already launched 50 of them. I mean, I could go on and on the potential of what they've suppressed, the adventure of colonization of space, of colonization of the undersea. We've got the resources, we've got it all. Instead, we put the resources into controlling and dumbing people down. So when you say, it's my right, it's my abortion, I've had a bunch of abortions, and you wear a shirt and don't, you know, you dumb man, don't tell me. I'm talking about humans going to the next level. I'm talking about valuing humans. I'm talking about if you don't decide to bet on humanity and be a fan of humanity, again, The Devil's Advocate with Al Pacino, great movie. Keanu Reeves tells me it's one of his favorite movies. By the way, Keanu Reeves doesn't do interviews. I've known him well over the years, talked to him a lot. I haven't talked to him in a few years. I need to contact him again. He's a big fan of the show, the films. In pr private, he'll totally smart, knows everything, totally cool. He just won't talk to any media because he knows they're all idiots. But, but that's all a side issue. In Deadville's Advocate, the devil says, I'm a fan of man. I want to empower you. And that is pure bull. The spirit of the devil, whether you believe it's real or not, the idea, the, the archetype of Satan wants to kill, steal, and destroy and suppress you. It's God and, 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 and God's creation and a life force that's regenerative and good. Beautiful sunshine, the stars, a child laughing, a babbling brook, hummingbirds outside your window at a morning glory, drinking nectar, uh, the smell of ozone in the air on a spring morning, uh, catching that big shark that comes up to the boat, uh, hanging out with your buddies who you know are good friends and having the camaraderie of people you know you can trust, that kinship, you know, the love of a woman in your arms and that passion and that intensity and that, and that goodness. All of that is the shared experience of humanity. To, 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 to hear music for the first time that's so beautiful or to hear your child play music that they are doing on a keyboard that's impromptu, that's some of the best stuff you ever heard and, to, and you know, to know that they have the genetics of top... Uh, concert pianist and violinist and just to hear it coming out of them and, and, and it's just so wonderful and to want goodness for people instead of going they're all weak and don't know the power we've got and we're gonna control them and take them over because they tear you apart if you tried to help them and the only way for you to achieve your true destiny is to realize that and break away from these people the dark side only wants to recruit those of us that are good because they know as their evil comes in, we will, as a law of nature, for every opposite, for every action, you will have an equal and opposite reaction. They know that those of us that don't sell out spiritually, that don't join with the hot flame of evil, that is very alluring because you're not tired. You don't feel weak anymore. You don't feel bad for people anymore. You don't have a conscience anymore. You can just feel the evil power and just join with it. But then you realize that it damns you off from all the great understanding and all of the love and all the compassion and all of the true art that you give up the deepness of your soul for the temporal power to be able to dominate on this planet. You only have an intellect for things evil, only an intellect to dominate, only an intellect to, 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 to commandeer good things and twist them. They're blind, they have no idea that the whole universe is before us, we're at a literal historical jump gate to things the eye has not seen, ear has not heard, things we've not dreamed of, but we've got to make this decision properly. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.